All right. Hi, everyone. Welcome. My name is Juvie Sanchez. I'm the Assistant Director of Recruitment for the Graduate School of Education. Um, and today you're attending our Exploring our GSC program. So this webinar is designed for those who just may not know um, about the Graduate School of Education and the programs that we offer and you're interested in learning more. Alrighty, so the first question is why choose the Graduate School of Education? So in the Graduate School of Education, we have over 90 program opportunities within our four departments. We have some programs that might be fully online. Um, we have some programs that are advanced certificates. We offer usually advanced certificates, masters, and doctoral level programs. Before you begin um, thinking about what program is the best fit for you, you do have to prepare yourself for the graduate school process. So I just wanna take this time to kind of give you tips and tricks to prepare for graduate school. Um, so the first step is of course, to do your online research. A lot of our programs, and I'm sure programs at other universities you might be considering, usually have web pages designed to give more information about the programs that we offer. Um, so I always tell students, do your research, um, see if the mission statement of the program aligns with your education and career goals. Um, if the program is a good fit for what you're looking for um, and what you want to accomplish or do for your future job perspectives. The next is to visit. Um, if you're able to call their admissions office and schedule a tour, um, you know, we hold individual tours within our office. You're always willing to um, sign up, schedule an appointment with me or another member of our admissions office to come and sit with someone to kind of go over the admissions process and even give a tour of the graduate school. Um, you can also do what's called non-degree. So non-degree allows a student to take a class to per credit. You could take up to 12 credits as a non-degree student before you have to matriculate into a program. It does give you college credit. The only caveat with non-degree is you do have to pay fully for your um, course. There's no scholarships or um, financial aid available for non-degree students. Non-degree is just a great way to get a feel for the courses and see if a program is a good fit for you without committing to the full program. Um, next is reaching out to alumni and mentors. So we currently have alumni and current student ambassadors. So if you ever have any questions about our programs, feel free to reach out to me and I can put you in contact with them. Um, today's webinar is going to be recorded and you will receive a copy of the PowerPoint slides. So you should be able to click right on that link and it'll take you to the current students and ambassadors that we have. But if you ever have any questions or someone's not on the list, you can reach out to us and we can find someone to speak with you. The next is connect with an admissions representative and or faculty. So you're doing that now, um, you're attending this webinar, but if you ever want to communicate with a faculty member or another representative from the department that you're looking at, we can also do that for you. Um, next is know the requirements and the deadlines. So I always tell students, if you're thinking about multiple programs or you're applying to multiple schools, it's best to create a spreadsheet that kind of lays out um, exactly what you need for each program. Um, you know, some programs might require unofficial transcripts where others might require um, official transcripts. It might require different letters of recommendation. So just keeping track of all those things in one place is usually helpful. At the Graduate School of Education, speaking of transcripts, we do allow for unofficial transcripts for the application process. If you're accepted to any of our programs, we will then request an official copy of your bachelor's transcript. All right. Um, the next is when do applications open? So, um. 2024 application cycle is slowly coming to an end. A lot of our doctoral programs are already closed. Some of our master programs are still open, but have some deadlines of quickly approaching. Um, if you're interested for the future applications like spring 2025, summer 2025, and fall 2025, our applications for that cycle usually open around September 1st. They do have varying deadlines. So depending on the program that might interest you, the deadline can be different. If you're unsure, you don't know where to find it, reach out to us um, and we can give you that correct information so you're able to keep track of those deadlines. Now, as I mentioned, we do have four departments within the Graduate School of Education. Those departments are Counseling School and Educational Psychology, Educational Leadership and Policy, Learning and Instruction, and Information Science. Each of our departments offer um, different programs and opportunities for our students. So we're going to kind of go into the master's programs first that these different departments offer. So the first department is the Department of Counseling School and Educational Psychology. So this department prepares students to work with individuals, groups, and agencies to resolve problems and enhance development. Let me just quick speed that up. 
Um, we offer a variety of accredited programs resulting in doctoral and master degrees in psychology, counseling, specialties, and research methods. Our classes are small, they're usually informal, and they're pretty engaging. Um, one big program that's usually a big hit is our mental health counseling master's program because we are um, accredited for students to get their license in mental health counseling. Our rehabilitation counseling program is nationally accredited. If you're interested in that program, our school psychology and our school counseling leads to certifications. And then of course we have our educational psychology and quantitative methods master's degree. So they all lead to different types of certifications in specialty areas. So if you ever have any question on which one of these counseling programs might be the best fit for you, feel free to reach out. All right, the next department is our Department of Educational Leadership and Policy. So this department prepares students to take leadership positions as scholars, administrators, and policy analysts who positively impact educational organizations, whether that's nationally or internationally. So students can gain an understanding of the how and why of successful policymaking and leadership. So in this department, we have the Higher Education Student Affairs Program, and then we have the Educational Cultural Policy and Society EDM as well. Um, so they do offer different things. The Higher Education Administrative and Student Affairs Program is designed for those who um, kind of want to work in a student affairs atmosphere, work in a college setting. Our Educational Cultural Policy and Society EDM is for those who really want to create positive and impactful change in a school setting. So if you ever have any questions about those programs, feel free to reach out as well. Awesome. So our next department, um, it's a pretty big department. It's our Department of Learning and Instruction. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, our Department of Learning and Instruction is devoted to education um, educating teachers and conducting research related to all areas of teaching and learning. So we offer a variety of graduate programs at the master level and doctoral level, as well as advanced certificates um, in teacher education. The programs that you see here do not lead to New York State certification. So I want to stress that these programs do not lead to New York State Certification. So if you want to work at a New York State public school, these will not be the program for you. These programs are designed for those who want to work in a private school setting, um, maybe at a religious institution or with adult students. Um, that would be these programs. So we have our teaching English speakers of our languages, our literacy education studies, our education studies, our English education studies, and our math education studies. Um, these are great programs for those who want to um, maybe teach in a different state or teach internationally as well, but they're not New York State certification. <coughs> Excuse me. So these are the programs that do lead to New York State certification. Um, so this is a complete list of our content areas um, that students can specialize in when they're trying to become a New York State public school teacher. Um, I do want to be mindful that we do not require the GRE. So none of our programs within the Graduate School of Education require a GRE. So you never have to submit one. Um, applications typically for fall um, deadlines for these programs is by July 15th. We have an earlier priority date and then we have rolling admission usually until July 15th unless the program fills up quicker than that. Programs and this department for New York State certification usually do not require a letter of recommendation like our other programs might. This program requires a reference. So what's the difference between a letter of recommendation and a reference? A letter of recommendation is where we ask the student to request a full letter um, from the recommender. The recommender will send directly to us. A reference is just the, rec um, the references information. So their name, their contact information, and then our faculty will reach out to them if they need to. They, these programs do require typically prerequisite coursework, um, depending on the content area you're trying to teach in. For example, if you want to do mathematics education, you need to have a background in math. You need to have at least 30 credits in mathematics or have a math bachelor's degree. If you're looking into social studies, for example, you need to have a at least 30 credits in history or majored in history. Um, the only program that's typically flexible with the prerequisites is the early childhood childhood education programs. Those are designed for students who come from a wide range of backgrounds. You can have a communications degree, a sociology, psychology, um, business. So if you have a degree that's not really um, specialty for the content areas listed here, usually early childhood childhood would work for you. So that's teaching grades birth to grade six. So if you have any questions of your um, qualifications or your prerequisites for any of these programs, please feel free to reach out to us as well. We can kind of help you throughout that process. 
When you apply to this program, you do get interviewed by the Office of Educator Preparation as part of the review. <clears throat> when you're considering doing one of our New York State education programs, you might hear what's called the different tracks of certification. So there's an initial only, the initial combined professional program, and the professional only. So what do these mean? Um, New York State has different levels to being certified. So if you have an initial only certification, um, that would be an advanced certificate. So it's not a master's degree. It's a one-year program where you can then receive your initial teaching certification and you can begin teaching. The only issue with an initial only is it will expire. An initial only typically expires after five years of receiving it. Um, between when you receive it and the expiration, you do have to come back to receive a master's degree so you can get your professional teaching certification. Um, that's where we would recommend doing our combined initial professional program. So if you don't hold any type of teacher certifications, the two that you can do are our initial only or our initial slash professional programs. Our initial professional is a combined program. It's a master's degree. So you do leave with your recommendation for initial teaching certification. And then after you teach for three years, you can then apply for your professional teacher certification and you're all set. You never have to worry about coming back to school. If you're a student who maybe received an initial in their undergrad, so we have a lot of students who come to us from maybe like a SUNY nearby, SUNY Fredonia, SUNY Buffalo State, where they have their bachelor's in teaching already, say they have their initial certification in early childhood, childhood education, they can then do our professional programs. So it would typically be maybe a year, year and a half if you already have an initial, you'll complete your professional certification, with, get your master's degree, and then you're all set. So those are our three um, options, the initial only, initial professional, and the professional. All three programs allow you to begin teaching in a New York State public school. So the next we have is our administrative certification. So it's called LIFTS. Um, our LIFTS, which stands for Leadership Initiative for Tomorrow's Schools, um, it's a certification that focuses on preparing you to become a school leader. So some examples are school building leader, district leader, um, and district business leader. So a lot of students will do this program if they have three years of teaching experience. So you do have to have your New York State teaching certification and you do have to have three years of teaching um, teaching experience to apply to this program. Um, and this is a, for those who kind of wanna become leaders in their schools. So maybe you wanna become a principal. This would be the program for you. Great. Um, the next department is our Department of Library and Information, um, our in Information Science Department. So this department is devoted, it is devoted to educating library and informational professionals. So we offer two master's degrees as well as an advanced um, certificate in this program and a doctoral um, degree as well. Um, the two masters that you see here, they do lead to different things. Our school librarianship master's program, we'll start there. Our school librarianship program is for those who want to be in a New York State public school and be a librarian in a New York State public school for grades K through 12. Um, that program will lead to your library media specialist license so that you can um, be a New York State public school librarian. Our information and library science program, that is accredited through the American Library Association. And that's for those who want to be a public librarian, um, maybe work at a college library, um, work in a museum or archives. That would be our information and library science. The cool thing about our information science department and these two master's degrees are the programs are 100% online and they're also 100% asynchronous. So asynchronous typically means there's no set time for your coursework. Um, you would have to, of course, log in weekly and complete your weekly lectures and your weekly assignments, but there's no set time where you have to be at your computer screen. Um, the only a big difference between the two. So of course their content and their coursework might differ, but another big difference is the school librarianship master's program does require a 40 day practicum experience in a New York state public school. So if you are um, local uh, or you're far away, you can usually do your placement in the area that's closer to you. Great. And now here is a little list of our doctoral degrees. We do have more, but these are the ones I um, kind of listed here for you today. Um, so we have doctoral degrees in all four of our departments. Um, they offer different things. A lot of our doctoral degrees are in person. 
we do offer some that are online. So does our information science PhD has an online option. Our learning and teaching and social context EDD is completely online. So we do have different options for um, online or in person, depending on what you're looking for. Um, our doctoral students are typically automatically considered for any funding opportunities when you apply to our programs. So as soon as you apply, your application is reviewed, not only for admission consideration, but also funding consideration at the doctoral level. So next are our, our advanced certificates. So our advanced certificates are short, usually focused programs at the graduate level that are designed to give students advanced skills in a particular subject area or specialization. So a range of advanced certificate programs are offered both on campus and online that you can be taken with concurrently with another program at UV or as a standalone. Um, some of them require you to have a prerequisite, like our library and information science requires you to already have a master's and um, in information and library science. The advanced certificate is for those who have that master's degree and are looking to kind of get some professional development and enhance their skills in library and in information science. Our rehabilitation counseling program is for those who already have a counseling background and they want to bridge that gap to get their rehabilitation counseling um, certifications. So example, you might have a school counseling degree and you want to become a rehab counselor. Um, that would be a program for you. Right. As I mentioned, we do have fully online programs. We have hybrid options. We have non-New York State certification programs that might be online. Um, we have, of course, the Re Rehabilitation Advanced Certificate is a completely online. We also have an online option for the Rehabilitation Master's Program. And our Information and Library Science and our School Librarianship programs are also completely online. We also have, um, it's not listed here, but we do have undergraduate minors available as well. So if you're an undergraduate student currently, and you're just looking at your options a little bit earlier on, we do have some um, undergraduate minors. We have counseling, education, educational leadership, and policy for equity and information studies. So if that might interest you, um, feel free to reach out and we can give you some more information. Um, this is just a little comprehensive list of what our students do. So our master's and our doctoral programs lead to a variety of careers within the realm of education. Because we offer such a broad range of academic opportunity, opportunities, we usually ensure future success in the career of your choice. We also provide those that would like to enhance their career but are not local with the option of some online programs. Um, with a degree with the graduate from the Graduate School of Education, you're able to obtain a profession that can enhance your degrees with advanced certificates. Um, you can get a PhD versus a master's. So some programs are able to go straight into PhD work from a bachelor's degree if you have rigorous research experience. Um, so we do offer a lot of opportunities for our students. And this is a comprehensive list of what some of our students have done um, or have gone on to do post-graduating. Now we're going on to the fun stuff, which is tuition and fees. Um, so here is a complete list of what tuition looks like for um, fall 2024 at the moment. If you have any questions about what it means to be in state or out of state, feel free to reach out. Typically in state, you do have to be living in New York state for 12 months prior to your program starting. So if you're applying for fall 2025, you do have to live in New York state um, since August of 2024. And I just want you to know that our application is completely online. So you're able to create an account, you're able to attach all your transcripts, um, your letters of recommendation, um, all that. Your application fee is $50. Um, you do not need the GRE, it's not required. Sorry, I forgot to remove it here, it's not required. But you're able to upload all that information directly in your application. If you're an international student, we typically do require, depending on what country um, you're coming from, um, we do require English proficiency scores. So we do take the TOEFL, the IELTS, and we also take Duolingo is also an option. So if you have any questions about what our minimum scores might be, feel free to reach out and we can help you with that process as well. As I mentioned, we do take unofficial transcripts for your application to be reviewed. And if you're accepted, um, we would then request your official bachelor's degree. And finally, I just want to say thank you. So thank you for taking the time to learn more about what the Graduate School of Education has to offer in some of our programs. If you have any questions on anything that was said throughout this presentation, please, please feel free to contact me. Um, here is my email and 
my phone number. And if you ever have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. I'll make sure you get a copy of today's PowerPoint presentation as well as the um, recording of today's slide. So thank you again. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Let me just stop the recording.